personally my favorite Reiko to watch, I will say. Just I think quite a few people's favorite Reiko. Yeah, he definitely is a people's player. He's, yeah, a, uh, he's a fan favorite, and he, and he has been for many, many years. Uh, does a lot of streaming too, so anyone wants to go and check out either the the various channels of Rewind. There's always sort of VODs and replays. Easy and enough to find and good content to boot. More Lee May is just here. Movado as Lee well. Lee May Movado. Okay, hang on a minute. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to I'm gonna absorb. I want right. to see the idea. And also Giris Motaro from Bugatti Blair. This is a very competent Giris team. Yeah, this is a very interesting team because Lee May recently again, not to be the, the, the patch man, but the recent patch that hit, Lee May got some really nice quality of life changes. The big thing Do you mean the one that's coming up or the one that is in the game right the now? The one that just came out. She has a true gapless, safe, hit confirmable string. And that for her is huge. I wonder if Movado can pick up from that. From the meatless one for sure. Ooh, ooh. One of the huge things about Movado is pressure, of course, with the slide. But that reversal EX flip that she has, impossible to miss that. No way you're going to miss it. Now, we haven't so, talked so about much respect from Bugatti Blair yeah. there, looking for something from Rewind. We didn't talk about uh, Bugatti Blair at all here, but uh, definitely let's highlight that Giras Motaro team. Gur uses the same team. This is a really powerful pick for Giras. I mean, we saw uh, Burrito Voorhees do the same thing at CEO. I think yeah, it definitely did. has just become one of the most powerful Giras pairings, just in terms of what you want. That low shot, massively plus on block. Gives them a lot of real estate, but what a whiff punish! Side Oh, that was optimal. Oh my goodness, and the punish, and the punish, and the Get same back here again! again. The oh, same Pavano, thing! what is going on? Rewind! That was two giant B&Bs with punishing the rewind in between. That was actually so good. Yo, that mid-string is going to become gapless in the patch, you know. Oh my goodness. And even at the end, you get his lead. Tries to go for the grab, but rewind with a big neutral jump. Yo, Rewind and Lee May. It's so good to see the team again. Yeah, two side switches in between. Oh, there's the reflect. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we combo, combo too. too. Yeah, that was nice. That was clean there from Bugatti Blair. Now rewind though, looking for just one moment. One hit. Ah, now we can play a little bit more reckless. Big jump in. And it's definitely one thing that Lee May is losing compared to Janet. She's not going to get grab combos from Movado. I don't believe she can get something from the mine, but maybe she can. It's not going to be as uh, plentiful as the Janet, though. Come on, grab. We're going for the brave stuff. Sticking out that overhead, too. Gatty Blair. Both players just looking for that first hit. There's the command grab. Rewind is holding off on pressing here, just looking for something. Oh, there's the catch, full pickup. Okay, there's the rewind. That was really smart. Can't get the pickup. Oh, wait a minute. This round is not over. One Movado. We have a Movado left. Oh, a drop. Up oh, block, but no punish. Movado overhead. Hang oh, getting a combo from that is nice. Oh! Oh my goodness, Rewind with the comeback. Bugatti's face, I'm not gonna lie. He, he's like, that, that is a face of disappointment. That was a face of, I can't believe he did that. I can't believe that worked. Oh, the double lantern. Decent damage too. Yo, the 2-1-2-1-2 safe, one, two, one, two, safe jump. Can't say I've seen that much. Oh, Counter again, everything is just working out. Okay, there we go. I think that's like the, maybe the, one of the first command grabs we've seen connect in the set. But these armor choices from Rewind, every single one of them is connecting. Slide into the free lantern setup. All Ooh, right. Okay, what you got? What you got? Okay, you know, nothing hugely flashy about that. At least we push back to a range that Bugatti clearly is much more comfortable. Yeah, resetting the range is important to Gears, especially when you've got the hourglass stock, but that might be enough. All right, no, all right. You get grab combos from the mine, it looks like. I stand corrected. The consistency alone is a huge one. Also, she's a character that thrives off of a lot of block advantage, and Movado gives that to you a lot. No Nomad's touch is always plus slide kick. If they block, it's going to be plus a million. Uh-oh, look at the sequence, though. Even without Movado, Lee May is hitting like a truck. And there's oh. the slide. 
Yo. That was a quick round. I just realized as well, Lee, May, Movado, the Deadly Alliance team. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Good point. Okay. For those that want the uh, in incredibly nerdy lore, they both debuted in Deadly Alliance. That was two of the favorite characters for a lot of people. I like the side switch though, just to get out of the corner, because the guy Blair has had some real issues getting out of that corner so far. The, the, the damage Rewind has access to when you're back to it. Lovely oh, what a reflect. That's been something that Bugatti Blair has been consistent with those reflects. Oh yeah. I don't think has dropped a single one. Didn't commit to it. Didn't believe. Slide. Bugatti has been... Oh, oh punishes the poke! Oh. I'm telling you, Movado making that so consistent is so scary. Hang on a minute. No, couldn't get a full pickup. Oh, and there's the raw reverse. Man, definitely putting on a bit of a masterclass as to what Lee May can do in this game, though. Lee. This is going to be a good match, actually. I I'm trying to think about all the possibilities in my head to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with those Ashra normals. Starting off with a rather expected back and forth. Two characters have pretty impressive range on their buttons. And the second you have Chameleon into the mix, there's going to be quite a lot of the same stuff happening. There's the confirm into that Melina ball roll. We're just going to look at what keeps on piling up here because hand to hand stance is ready. Oh, forces the break. All right, a lot of respect and kind of important for Rewind to scout out that Katana's like about to happen. That's when Gi Exceptional's gonna pull the trigger on that. So another confirm there. Should very much be the round actually. Yeah, that's definitely enough to kill. Yeah, totally, totally. Round one here for Rewind. A long way to go, but a good start. Oh, okay, instant confirm. So it's one of those things that is so consistently impressive with Shao Kameen is how anything that launches, he's got the buttons to reach. He's going to pick up. He's going to do a good chunk of damage. Oh, but the exact same thing could be said about Ashra, and we will say it. There's going to be a very similar sort of meta with these two characters, really. They're looking to just extend as much as they can. Not overextend, keep in mind. There's a lot of safety they can play with. Again, the counter poke fan. He exceptional. If he could spend a whole game just having Katana, I bet he would. All right, one round each. Imagine if there was a way that Chameleon could go back into the other stance. <laughs> so you would just go back every time. Or just reverse the order. It's going to be such an interesting full screen game though. Just, oh, what a crouch. That was like walk into the perfect range and then just duck it at the last moment. Oh! That break. I actually don't know just how much damage uh, Rewind saved himself from there with that break. Plus on block. This time, though, it's going to get challenged there by Rewind. Delayed low. The overhead just for good measure there. And now, there was no meter, no meter available, so we couldn't get the extended knee from Xiao. With that kind of situation, I feel like you almost just let the combo drop a bit earlier so you don't lose the punch. Because the last thing you want is to send Ashra to full screen. Oh, there's a full catch, though. Waits for the inevitable button, actually. Get exceptional. Absolutely, just swinging. It might not necessarily be the button, though. That could have just been catching out for the reversal. Oh, there's a full pickup. Disrespect it at the worst time. But a good game one for Rewind. A back and forth match to be sure, but it's kind of inevitable when you get two players like this. It's really kind of no surprise that Rewind has oh, ended no. up gravitating towards characters like the General Xiao. I mean, look at his character choices in MK11, right? Kano with the command grab, Kotal Khan. Are the characters that are all about just kind of brawling and having these amazing buttons with amazing range and especially very high damage. 
Escape failed. Not that it really means anything, but definitely try to go for some sort of tech. There's the pickup though. Rewind. Finishes things. Actually cashes out as much as he possibly can. Making it so much harder for the exceptional. Risking it big time with that dash in throw. But a risk that paid off now. Gets around on the board. Rewind on the verge of being 2-0 up here on Gee Exceptional. Wow, that grab completely whiffed. Keeping the corner. That's very, very important. Oh, gets caught again. I swear, that Ashra 1-2. It catches so many people out. Ooh. Sweep into forward throw, mate. Plus frames. Oh, screw your plus frames. I care not. All right. Dang. I think if Gee Exceptional picked up from that down two, it might have been the round. Oh, yeah. The Jade Glow. Long range at yes. The Jade Glow bypasses the Ashra wake up. There's something about her wake up that does count as a projectile. Yeah. Rain's bizarre. bubble can get through it as well. That's the knowledge there from Rewind, who was ready with the chase That's down. That's a lot of damage for his anti-air normal. Into it. So oh, get out of here. Katana first, then the anti-air. Not one-sided. Right? So if, if you made round three pool winners, like if you win this match, you're top 24 winners. And if you lose, you're top 24 losers. So regardless, this is the last match that these folks will play today. Um, but obviously, going against top 24 winners is like you're pretty much one match away from uh, from top six at that point. So, you know, you're getting closer to that final placement. Oh, there it is again, that one, two every time. You block the one, get hit by the two. Looking for the throw tech, looking for the stagger, anything. Rewind, finding the interruption on that armor, by the way, or the escape. He is not out of this by any stretch. However, we are entering flawless block territory and Rewind unable to. The exceptional doing a smart thing. Going in for the overhead two to side switch as much of the mid screen as we can possibly have. Okay. Extend once more. Take that damage. Creates an interesting situation there. So many people do like to jump out of the glaive, but some characters are exceptionally good at chasing it down. Oh, take that down one. Cheeky stuff. Lovely grab there from Gee Exceptional. On the double glaive. The exceptional, he's spending it all. Again, you see the patience from Rewind, just waiting for ultimately the button that guarantees his turn, but sometimes it takes a while to find. Oh wow, full catch. And again. And another time, so often Rewind is getting opened up. Yeah, when you're facing down a 2-0, especially against a player like Rewind, to get that one on the board, now suddenly one away from tying things up, that's definitely quite the momentum shift. I mean, speaking of momentum shift, let's have a look at what's going on here. The exceptional turning things around. Oh, that was a good reaction. Lovely block on that overhead there from Rewind. All right, more emphasis on these grabs at the moment. Anything that just makes the opponent flinch or hesitate, something that causes that last minute low to catch, or maybe launching overhead. Catches a jump out there with a low poke. Chases it down, couldn't quite get the follow up though. The idea was there. It's crazy how even mid screen, you have so much advantage off that Melina throw that that forward too, I think it's pretty much a guaranteed check from Ashra. As soon as it's guaranteed, oh! Opens up so much more and again, Gee Exceptional. Okay, from, you were saying it, a 3-0 was something you, just, it you, you felt was unlikely. And we have not seen it, we are seeing a turnaround in progress. Good blocks too, I feel like Gee Exceptional is just not getting opened up as much. Just so many just like raw standing twos, micro ducks into buttons, and just not really getting the chance to see as much of it now. Oh, getting these trades, not good for a rewind though. Trading a standing two for a fireball multiple times, it's not what you want damage-wise. Even with the extra HP, that ain't gonna help you much. Okay. That's good though, lovely little hit confirmed. Rewind. 
Oh no, no. missed the end. Oh, that is unfortunate. That was a straight up punishable drop as well. Yeah, that's the worst kind of combo drop. Wonder if Rewind just didn't dash enough or maybe it just doesn't work from there. Oh no, yeah, forced to break. That's confirmed. And that is going to bring us into a 2-2 two, two scenario. Only one more match here. If you lose, your top 24 loses. That's how it works from this side. Anyway. Oh, okay, cool. Never mind then. So for both of it will be the last match. Either way, you're going to have to sit on that result, for better or worse. Well, top 24 is tomorrow, so that's going to give you an evening of, am I still in winners or, oh, no, I'm in losers. God. So Lock definitely a, <laughs> a bit of a change. Good block on the low there. Key exceptional. Finds it. Has just completely and utterly turned this around. Intercept. Catches the jump and get exceptional. Decides to break. Happy with the life lead. Wants to try and turn this into something more. He chases it down. Raw oh, overhead. Haven't seen that in quite some time. Was keeping that one up the sleeve. And there's the cash out. Whoa. That is a lot of damage off of a Saving raw roll. it for a rainy day, mate. And, well, we will collect one round away. Rewind, defeating the Exceptional. The Exceptional was on the verge of getting just absolutely swept. Has fought hard, tooth and nail, to bring these two matches in. Is it all going to be for nothing? All right. Throw combo, yeah. Going to spend. What a knockdown. Wonderful block on that overhead. And again, no! he's swinging. I'll do it again, mate. You think I won't? Uh-oh. Is it even worth breaking? This is a hard, yeah, that's a hard choice to make. That's a hard choice to make. Because now you've got nothing left. We even feel this. Oh, that's it. That's going to be it. Surely we launch and we finish. And Rewind is going to defeat Gi Exceptional. And now makes it into top 24. Winner's side. I know I said this yesterday when we when we saw Rewind, but he has said online that he wants to, he wish he could just play nothing but Lee Mei. Yeah. Lee Mei in bracket, and here he is, winner's side, still doing well. I mean, last time it was Lee Mei with the Movado, but now back to the Lee Mei Janet. A very scary team. If you want to see big damage numbers, play this team. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but already starting off well is Nicholas. Actually, forcing the opponent to block a ton. I wonder if Rewind has actually played any Reiko in bracket this weekend. Because the two matches I saw on the stream, he was playing Lee Mei first and then General Shao. I okay. haven't seen him play Reiko yet. Pretty good out of a grab. That's one of the scary things about this team is just everything leads to damage. Even if it's not huge damage constantly, it's much more than you would normally get in that situation. Again, forcing the opponent to stand block so that they're jailed into the knives. Nicholas with the life lead. Oh, big whiff punish. punish. That was so clean. Needs one more. Well, Chip's not going to do it on kind of that flawless. Oh, oh come on. That was so good. Punish on the down one rewind is paying attention and looking for something oh, there. He can take it's it. an overhead. Yeah, has to break, says Nicholas. Oh. The big bet. The huge bet. You know, I respect it because that definitely would have killed. <laughs> if, it, if it hit, it would have done enough. Yeah, of course, a huge reason to be playing Lee Mei is for her very, very fast punish on all sorts of options out there. Well, also Down things like, yeah, if, if Barak is going to go for those minus seven options, right? Yeah. The overhead, yeah, for, uh, yep. a lot of his strings in general, yep. suddenly Lee Mei's going to punish them. Sure. It's definitely something that I don't think Lee Mei gets enough credit for. It's just a unique ability almost to punish uh, quite a few things. Because it's a reversal special move, right? So yeah. it comes out on that first frame. Exactly. Ooh, Ooh big for movement. Something. Just reminding us that Nicolas' defense pretty good. Lee Mei doesn't have the most upfront mix-ups, but so much plus frames and stagger potential. But if your defense is really on point, it's really hard to open up something with that in this game. Oh, yeah. Had already committed to regular spin. There was a flawless in there. It's a huge plan against Baraka. The more you can mitigate that chip damage, the better. 
And the fact, as long as Flawless Block has been a thing in MP Rewind has always been, oh, and again, both rounds, the same fashion, looking for something. <laughs> we are swinging mix-ups, and I hope you can defend against it. And this is the kind of character that he has historically been quite strong with, especially in hand-to-hand, -hand, we get access to that grab as well. Scary stuff. Ooh, reaction. Coming out from Nicholas, set up as well. Getting the first hit bonus too, so you kind of spend that bar to get the first hit and get the bar immediately back. Ooh, a little bit of damage. Ooh, low. These mix-ups becoming serious threats with Chameleon, especially when you're in that Katana mode. And Rewind is really trying to get something out of Nicholas on the wake-up. He did punish it. Okay, down. nice. It is double digits minus, but he's just out of range. Or he could do spin, or, you know, it's actually did enough. Not easy. But Rewind, as a result, got the kill. That's Xiao. Xiao got them buttons. That's standing two. Oh, speaking of which, asking you Xiao receive. <laughs> oh, from there. All right. That, that didn't even count that hit, right? Fella. No, he just grabbed him. The long arm of General Xiao. Oh. Yo, that Baraka back three is going to hit people forever. The eternal button, the double hit. You oh. can get him. Absolutely. Perhaps a little bit too eager to rewind there. Nicholas. Oh. Rewind's dealing with button into spin or not has actually been great. That was a perfect moment of him understanding that there wasn't a spin coming. He's just not being in a rush to take his turn back. Because that's what Baraka thrives on. Oh, the yeah. Baraka player, they want you to just constantly go, ah, oh, but the Pope's my turn. And suddenly it isn't. But Rewind, he's, he's played this game before. He knows that patience is the key. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Some of that unblocked tech on that jump normal. Kind of hard to see that in MK1 these days, but every now and then. He now. did it. Oh, drop the combo. Very rare for Nicholas. Getting a little scrambly on Rewind's side, too. But he'll get the corner and all this could change. Hello oh, again. Not enough, but at this point you have to yeah, have to just get an instant flawless block. And even then you can just delay the button, you can throw, you can do whatever. Yep. Difficult situation to be in. But a pivotal round now. The difference between 2-0 and 1-1 is monumental. Especially for rewind. Got him. Good block. Oh, interruption! <laughs> Amazing interruption right there by Nicholas. What defense. He's gonna get more pressure with a full Kano. Yeah, rewind, his mix-up has really been between just the low and the throw, is saving that overhead. Taking up some space on screen, making it so Nicholas can't be sure where rewind's gonna be. Nicholas patient though. Oh, big chance! Oh, Break huge. immediately. Here comes the safety of the knives, another chance. That flawless block still preventing all the chip and meter build. So though. important. Okay, yeah, taking the advantage. Another low. And this time, Rewind just going for the full string, maybe trying to call out the interruption. So there's a lot of meter and a Kano and a half on Nicholas's side. He could party. Ooh. Again, though, flawless. When Baraka's doing Baraka Barrage, it's always the same timing to flawless block that part of it. Again, we're almost going to the timeout. Time. Yeah, but no commitment. Rewind wants to keep it safe. Speed quick, safe jump coming through. 10 seconds. The grab, grab again. Is that life lead? It might be just. Oh, no, it has to break. It has to break. I mean, this is this is clutch. Can he get a is chip on be? either side? Underneath? Is that one enough? Oh! oh what oh! a trap! What a trap! I can't I believe rewind. it. If the opponent had stayed on the ground, taking the chip from the hammer. If they go up into the sky, instead, Melina shuts it down. But what was the maths on that? Like, we can't do a freeze frame, but like, it did it, I don't know if it even looks like Rewind got the life lead it's from- It's a long the, zero, dude. It was like, it was like one <laughs> hit. To tell you. It was genuinely, it was one hit of the that Melina size connected. I think that was one of those like percentage <laughs> life lead wins though, right? Cause Xiao's got the more, Baraka's gonna have a little bit less cause of Kano. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was such a good trap though from Rewind. Where are you going? What do you do? Not be there, I suppose. <laughs> Avoid the scenario altogether. Should the match have gone differently? Difficult to floor spot that standing four yeah. from Baraka too. That string is uh, will chew you up. Nicholas just patient, waiting it out a little bit. And man, you can really tell he has slowed it down here. Oh, 
first the attempt. first one. The first overhead and it's instantly blocked. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you just see Rewind's face looks so disappointed. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> saved it. <laughs> saved it for so long and it just got blocked immediately. The defense from Nicholas. Yeah, it's interesting. Rewind is still getting a lot out of just strike a throw, to be honest. I think it's because you have to show up respect in your shell. Because that, as long as he's in axe mode, it's, it's overhead, it's low. You can't really afford to duck too much of the grabs, I suppose. Hey. Oh, okay, the challenge. Again, grab. We went trying to chase. Here it is. Okay, rewinds out of there. Three bars gone. Shiny Axel oh, again. again. Denied. Yeah, the reaction is just not letting Rewind get away with that at all. It's not a humongous punish, but hey, it's something. There's oh. the duck. I guess that's the problem. The more you grab, the more you can begin to expect it. Two of them had worked earlier just in this round, so Nicholas was, as you're right, Ooh, looking wow, for it. that was a quick game. So no, Rewind, he's always, yeah, once upon a time, was local to, to West Coast and, yeah. and Vegas and whatnot. In Vegas, yeah. So even though... Not around these parts these days. Definitely still that kind of spiritual <laughs> hometown hero. Just neutral jumping now. That is a much harder read defensively than we've seen him make so far, but he was right about it. Especially against Shao, who's just standing to it so easily if it's if it's red or stroked out. It's all Nicholas right now. He's got the corner. He's got the Kano. He's got the bars. Okay, spinning the bar. And another block, but this time the Katana to make it a little bit trickier. Oh, wow, that damage. That's kind of cool. Adding up from that scenario. Nice catch. It really is just forcing the flawless blocks to out of rewind. <laughs> God, I cannot nope. be thrown. Yeah. Not today, my friend. What are you doing? Oh, challenge. Sean turn. Ooh. Suddenly rewind there. There's the flawless. So the important to the turn was there in the duck. It has been grabbed so many times offensively. And now Nicholas in this round, as in last round, has shut it down. That's a shame. Rewind was able to stick out so many turn stealing buttons and, and it worked. Got the advantage, but just couldn't turn it into anything significant. I feel like, has Nicholas been hit by the overhead low? At any point since I mean, like the first game? Yeah, maybe? right. I think he got hit by a low, but more because it was strike throw rather than yeah, like that, it maybe. was a low. Yeah, again, theoretically, you punish that every time. It's just not practical to actually be able to do so. I thought even when the throws connect, it's escape fail most of the time. <laughs> it's like, right, even, right, he's even trying. If you get right? the yeah. throw, you yeah. have to get the direction on top of it. Okay, hang on a minute. This could be the start of something fantastic. Okay, another flawless block, but it doesn't do anything for the advantage. Oh, okay. Instant break has to do it. That would have been some serious damage. Back to the grab. I am surprised to see that from Rewind. There's been so many escapes by Nicholas. Maybe that's why it works. Okay, there's something. Going for the fatal blow, just getting as much damage as possible. Why not? Because there's definitely not going to be another break this round from Nicholas. Yeah, not going to happen. And with the health left, I mean, Shao can mop that up pretty easily. The question is, how does he do it? Ooh, quick backdash. Ooh, that you actually could have been it. That yeah. could have been it. Hard to have expected that to connect. Kano! No! <laughs> that was so cool! <laughs> what a little setup at the end. And unless this is a button check, we might actually be seeing the rewind Reiko coming out to play. Yeah, this is definitely a pairing that Reiko players have. Uh, I, I feel like it, you know, some credit definitely has to go to Axstar for sure, who has been playing this team over at EU for a very long time, but has really adjusted the use of the Tremor yes. kind of, you know, pairing it, specifically. Because normally it was like Tremor was there mainly for the grab, and that's right. about it. It was really, it was almost like you were playing no assist, and then you had a little bit of extra damage on the grab at the beginning. Yeah, and obviously the health as well helps the grab the bar, because you have you know, more health to take the risks to play with. But Axstar was always one to do the kind of like ground pounds of like shurikens and and neutral and things like that. We're definitely seeing a lot more of that from uh, particularly Rewind in recent times. Even Rewind, you know, after seeing finals like that, I'm going to steal some of this stuff. And now we're seeing Rewind do exactly that. And you take a player of the caliber of Rewind's Reiko 
and then you add that kind of strong tech and it's going to be scary as uh, secures the first round already. Here's Dexy finding the hit, getting first good Oki scenario, and not too much out of it. The rewind back to control. Denying easy glaive stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel like that one too, like, th that's gonna armor break most armored moves in the game. But Melina goes so low to the ground so fast, it's, if, especially if you're meeting with the height, it's kinda hard to hit her with it to get the armor break. They went there first. Crystal and Tremor ready to change. Yep, trying it out. I think that's why Dexy is being so cautious on the way, especially when Tremor is ready. Because if you go too fast before you know it, you've just walked straight into a ground pound and suddenly it's a full combo. Hey. Lots of indi individual hits adding up. Almost there. Oh, the Aye. mix up. Rewind. Seen that one before. It's a scary thing, right? Because that's the mix-up of Melina. The standing one into the overhead string on the low side, but... Oh, Ooh, big really win. Punish. Yeah, and that's going to be big damage, too. <laughs> Melina does not tickle. Yeah, what a start, because you accidentally whiffed one button. That's the level of play we're at. It's one of those Melina strengths. The long range of the down one, the standing one. Some clean buttons overall, to be honest, and yeah. tidy damage tied to them. This round definitely looking all Dexy so far. <laughs> that's, like there. That, that's basically how you used to test frame data in MK9. You'd block something and both people oh, would yeah. jump. Whoever left the ground first was like, could move first. I had the advantage. Mm -hmm. It's a slow start. Big whiff punish. Whiff. Yep. Again, okay, just as in the previous round when it was Dexy getting it this time, rewind. Huge whiff punish. I mean, not the only character on our screen with some decent whip punish potential. Yeah, and it's into damage, too. Ooh, okay. Uh-oh. This is where it gets scary with Reiko. Well, you're point-blank knocked down, and everything is just going to clipping you. Oh, what a decision. Okay. Oh, catch. Confirmed as well from Rewind. That had to be a break with Dexy. Ooh, I actually thought that was specifically to chase that down, but it didn't quite work out. Uh-oh, grab comes through. That's gonna be the round, right? Yeah. Yep. Spend the bar. Scoop. Impaler. We're doing it. Rewind looking good. Starting off patiently yet again. Same for Dexy. Waiting until that circle on the top right. Ooh, okay. Here comes Rewind. And Rewind has not missed a confirm so far, I think. Oh, spends it for the damage. Okay, decides to extend. Wow, four. Yeah. I wonder if the idea is just, look, I'm going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with damage here. If Melina hits me, it's going to be about 400, so. Yeah, and other than that, he can play this patient game. He can try individual hit mix-ups. There's definitely a lot of neutral being played. So yes. you're going to have that time to build that cameo back. Yeah, he is effectively back. Oh, scoop. Just in time. Well, he's looking for break. Oh! Just over it. A singular EX star is all it took to finish that off. And this is, again, to make top eight. But there's going to be one more to make the stage in top six. Yeah, winner of this is going to be facing off against the mighty unjust in top six. So quite a strong player waiting, but... Okay, another confirm. Oh, wow. Oh, Finishes a string. I like that choice. Rare. Oh, yeah. Ooh, okay. okay. I like the idea. That was cool. That was almost sick. Oh, that's such a rude overhead. <laughs> really puts his body into it. <laughs> yeah. Just a hit confirm and back it off. Oh, okay. Using the reactions yet again. Ah, try and turn it into a full combo. I see. Decent damage for what it is for effectively an armored launcher. Yeah. Ooh, looking for overhead there was Dex. Yeah, that was a big call out. Counter poke slide. We haven't seen that before. And that's going to take Rewind to a match point now. Fight. Yeah, that intended up block against the overhead would have really changed things. It would turn a normally safe overhead into totally punishable. But it didn't quite work out. Ooh, actually surprised we didn't see a whiff punish from Rewind on that. Okay, 
just wasn't looking for that specifically. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a reaction from Dexy though. Full combo punish. Tries it out a little bit. All right, the grab. Always needs the respectable damage from Alina. Oh, yeah. Into pressure. Almost. Denied by Rewind. And another chance. Dexy, both of them playing this really hit and run style. Holding on to the three meters there is Dexy. So more lows now, yeah, after having seen that up block. But also, man, if you up block against oh. a Rego with an EX grab, anyway, we'll see if that comes up. Dexy. That was like a quick backdash into Glaive too. That was just the right space for it. Dexy staying alive. The last two sets in a row, we've seen this exact situation. Two dominant wins and a match point and then suddenly a return. Will Dexy be able to do it for the third set in a row? Or will it be actually a 3-0? And again, the reaction, always on Glaive. Specifically looking for it as Rewind. Makes sense, it's just such an important neutral tool. And you only have to think about it when the bar is green up there. Especially when you just want to deter them, right? Okay, all that said, right back into it is Dexy. And he gets another chance for Oki. This has not really paid off too much. Here's a chance though. Big anti-air too. Quite a risky neutral jump for a Rewind to go to. Yeah. Again, just trying to clean clean this one up. Zero meter though, which I mean, it's quite a meter heavy team can uh, Rico Tremor be, so. It's gonna be harder than usual to finish off the health that's left. Mm. Oh, there it is again. Might be the last Tremor we get the chance to see. Oh, Hang on we a held it. Very strong tool up in the sky. Dexy still needs a little bit more. Plenty of time. That also puts Rewind into face. Come on! on! Can he kill before the break? Yes! Battery. Right before, pixels before. Rewind already put his hand out. <laughs> he knew the second he got that confirmed, the handshake went out. A top six qualifier match, loser's side, ready to go between Rewind and the Mighty Unjust. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how to call this one. No, no, this who could knows? go either way, 100%. Right, okay, yeah, the, okay, the, yep. The, this is the pick for that particularly, because Rewind's a kind of player that, he will have this kind of thing ready, but he's also no stranger to the meta of the game. If he knows what his characters are doing, and if he just, if he doesn't think they handle it well, he's gonna change. Yeah. But it's the Mavado that has me. Yes, it? yeah, what are you gonna do? I mean, I've seen Johnny Mavado before, but why, why specifically against Homeland? A big thing that is pretty cool is it turns your Shadow Kick into a full launcher. Yeah, so definitely. if you're gonna whiff punish, or you're gonna chase something down. Yeah, maybe it turns that moment into a potential combo. You see him up in the sky, you do an armored, you know, kick. And yeah, business. maybe. Could be. I don't know. He's spitballing. Not a great first round for Rewind so far. Mighty Unjust manages to take it pretty convincingly. I tell you, we definitely don't see Homelanders go to the armor very often, though. I actually think that, that even though Homelander's clearly just like quite a powerful character, he hasn't got the greatest armor. No, he's got one of the weakest armors, in my opinion. But then playing with Chameleon, that even weak armor could be good mobility, uh -oh. right? Uh-oh! I wonder if he didn't expect to be on that side, because he didn't do the fight. Well, I guess that doesn't even matter, really. Unjust, what do you got? Connection, yep. out yeah, of there. Yeah, just walk to the other side for that one. Well, oh. what, whatever the Johnny Mavado pick is for, we have not seen it yet. Unfortunately, we haven't seen Mavado come out a single time. He just hasn't had the opportunity. That's the thing about Mavado, unless you're using like Nomad's Touch or, or something along those lines, it's only really going to help you on hit. Yeah. It can help you get the hit once you start snowballing, perhaps, but for the initial hit, you kind of have to get it yourself. Like, theoretically, I guess, maybe put out mine while Homelander's floating above you? I don't know. And we didn't see any of that stuff, so no. I, I'm not sure if that's going to be what he goes back to. Okay, hang on. This is smart. So, straight to Katana Jax. This is a team that Rewind has played quite a bit in the game, but not for a while in tournament. However, Katana has some weird specific interactions with Homelander that I don't know if are unique to her, but they work in the matchup. Like, jump, uh, like, like float jump kick into like stance kick doesn't hit her. Oh, it just misses completely. It just doesn't work, period. And there's a few weird like interactions like that that are specific. I mean, well, I don't know if they're unique to her, yeah, but yeah, yeah. it definitely works for her. <laughs> okay. For sure. Ooh, makes it count. 
into the corner carry. Slow start. Rewind's gonna hope to block well on this next one, or he'll have Breaker if not. He's got the you see, you see? Jax. Yeah, funky. How about that? That's exactly what I was talking about. Which pretty much eliminates that from Homelander's game. I mean, it, it's merely one tool in quite a versatile right. arsenal. Right, it's still took the round. But it's important. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a strong thing that she just doesn't have to deal with. However, I'm just managing just fine so far. Oh, Ooh, down just the down two. Yeah, just take yeah. the damage. Yep. Expected the fan limb, of course. So there are the three bars off. Unjust on the slow approach. Back well, off, Max trying Rain. it out, yeah. But again, it's, well, really not too much out of that. Could have been a much bigger whip punish. Well, from that range, though. Maybe Katana's gonna have to hold it from there. Yes, Jax, do the work. Respectable damage for armor. Yeah, I'll say. What's the point? Into the corner. Oh, what that's the overhead. And all that aside, if Unjust finds the next hit, he can take it. Yeah, Rewind's not gonna be able to build a breaker by the end of this round, unfortunately. And there's the overhead, that's probably enough. Yeah, pauses. I mean, it's a cinematic, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's it. That's it, that's it for sure. But that's definitely enough. Even with the extra hundred from Jax, unfortunately not going to save you. Yeah. Actually, there was definitely a moment there where Rewind was like, Is maybe, maybe, right, maybe right, right, right. 1100 health, but nah. So back to character oh, select. Now he's tried two. Neither of them has been the trick. What do you got? Not impossible, but definitely going to be difficult, especially when staring down a 2-0 to mighty unjust of all players. Again, to make top six and to get on stage. Starter. Unjust is already there. Already got the corner, already got the damage. Oki comes, there's no meter to worry about. And yet, Rewind finds the moment. It's a throw combo. Oh, no! no! Drops, okay, wasn't punishable at least. But that's the kind of situation that you have to be careful of. Oh, max range, low laser. Oh, underneath. Okay. <laughs> so you can't go up into the sky because of the lantern up there, but you know what? He's still got the command dash and the command grab. Is it? Unjust is away. Oh, no. Anti-air! He'll look to take the round and go to match point. Uh, I feel that that low laser gonna be such a brick wall for Lee Mei to right. deal with. She has such right. amazing buttons when she's point blank, but getting to that range can be quite a problem for her. Particularly that kind of sweep distance where that laser will dominate. You know, that's why we're seeing so much of it from Unjust. Yeah. She's constantly threatening it. It's a very confirmable as well. She's going into fly or something along those lines to get big damage from oh. it. Oh! That was risky, but it paid off. Rewind. But was willing to do that earlier as well. Clearly not against making those got decisions. Him. Big punish. That's got to be the round. Yeah, because you hit Melina while doing that, there's no breaker. That's a lot of damage. Rewind. This is the exact kind of thing he needs to stay alive. Lantern's there! Yes! Connected. I thought maybe the lantern was just about to leave the screen. Yeah, sick timing. Unjust again. Finds it out of the overhead start. But we've seen so many times already Unjust has turned this into a total snowball. And it will lead into another one, full combo. Yeah, break from Rewind. Didn't do it immediately there. Maybe just kind of assessing how much damage he was about to take. Lantern gone. Tough to set up another one without getting punished for it here. No chance for a breaker by the end either. And that might actually be enough. No! Even chip though! Oh! Wait for the, the down one, punish. Yes. Yes. Oh, and it came down to an anti air on Wake Up. Rewind. Gonna be eliminated from Evo this year. Unfortunate for the Rewind fans out there, but again, great showing. Yeah, Rewind, such a, a, a consistent player in all things Netherrealm these days. So, you know, still got the top eight.